fell for my Jema. Rolls and rotten guts. Still we call dog a man's best friend. Well, she's no pedigree. She likes to drink where people poo and wait. Still we call dog a man's best friend. He dropped the tear on mother's roses. Two fathers garden hoses. Still we call dog a man's best friend. She came from the poor side of town. They came from the bloody pound, from the bloody pound. On sheep shit, he likes to munch, then he'll spew it up and eat it for lunch. He's still we call dog a man's best friend. He'll look his bum and clean himself, then come and kiss you on the mouth. Still we call dog a man's best friend. Hey mate, that doesn't say you can go yet. Chubby come. Good dog. Anyway, welcome to my canine mates series. We're gonna be looking at all my dogs together and individually. This clip's about Choppy. I'll be talking about dog welfare, dog shelter, dog maintenance, I guess you could call it. Uh, Tucker, like what food to give them, training, real important one, and uh, what the dog's use is for, and showcasing each dog individually. Like Choppy's a pig dog, Bruno on the other hand, who we'll be looking at, who's a pure dogo Argentino, he's a pig dog, but he's also a guard dog here on the farm. Choppy, come. Good dog. And just for a bit of fun, I'm going to give each dog his own voice. Choppy's voice would be this one. Hey guys, I'm Choppy. Does that kind of fit the look of the dog? Oh, I hate this game, it's stupid! This I read when I was in picking up my dog tucker the other day and it's put out by these guys that do uh, chunky dog roll which we just love because it's got possum in it and also they've got one with possum and one with... it's all pure meat, it's good stuff it's the only dog roll... I think dog roll's shit on... you know, most dog roll's rubbish but these guys have a good dog roll but I read on the, um, on the back of it this really cool saying which is a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than himself. And that quote came from Josh Billings, and what a great quote, because you know it yourself, man. Dogs just want to please us all the time. So bringing that back into training, I think it's really important to let the dog know that you're happy when it does something right. If he knows you're happy, then he will repeat that command again and he'll take note of it. Right, we'll take him for a walk and put him through his paces. Come on, mate, let's go. Come here, come. Dog, a man's best friend. He dropped the tear on mother's roses. Two fathers' garden hoses. Still we call dog a man's best friend. She came from the poor side of town. He came from the bloody pound. From the bloody pound. Sheep shit, he likes to munch, then he'll spew it up and eat it for lunch. He's still we call dog a man's best friend. He'll look his bum and clean himself, then come and kiss you on the mouth. He's still we call dog a man's best friend. When he wants to come inside and you let him in, you can guarantee that he'll wanna go outside again. If you invite your boss for tea, sure he'll try and hump an knee. Still we call dog the man's best friend. When you dress for town in your tidy drawers, he'll jump up with his muddy paws. Still we call dog the man's best friend. Looks as guilty as sin when she takes a poo, but you do her right in public in front of you. Still we call dog the man's best friend. But if you locked him in the boot of your car with your wife and went off and got drunk, 
Who's gonna be the happiest to see you? Later on you get back and open the trunk. But you'll stay loyal if you're rich or poor. Ugly as sin and you fart and snore and that's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. Very slowly coming to me. That wasn't great. There's a whole lot of smells on the trail that are way more interesting than obeying the command. I'm going to send him away and do it again. Where you go? Right. Trippy come. Good boy. Much better, much better than the first time. Back to the command. This is one of the commands that gets stuffed up so many times by so many people. They lose their rag, they get pissed off, and they end up changing what they're saying, and the command loses all meaning to the dog. You've got to keep the same command all the time, eh fella? So, it doesn't matter what your command is, it's just important that it stays the same. It has the same tone and the same words. So in the case of me calling this little fella, I say his name, that gets his attention, which is choppy, wake his tail, and the command is come, while well, he's already here. When your dog doesn't come, and you have that command, don't change your command and don't repeat the command. Just wait for a while and then repeat the initial command maybe one or two more times. If it's not coming then, then it's time to go back to basic training. That means putting your dog on a check lead. It's a longer lead. Setting it up so you say the command, you pull the dog towards you if he doesn't come and when he comes you give him praise. We've already done all this work with Choppy so he comes most of the time. Okay, these are the classic mistakes that you guys make, I've made them, we've all made them. You call your dog, it doesn't come, you know, you're changing the command, you're saying, come here boy, get in here, you're starting to shout and lose your rack, get in here, going crazy because your human brain is getting all caught up with shit of control, I want my dog here now and it's not doing what you're doing. That's the time to step back and look at yourself. So you've got to think of dog, dog terms of dog language. Dogs have their own language. They talk and they understand what each other is saying. And they have a vocabulary depending on the breed. Some can have up to three or four hundred words that they can understand, particularly smaller intelligent breeds. In dog language, if a dog goes ruff, ruff, that's a warning bark. That means I'm not sure, but I think we have a, a person on the property. Or I think this dog could be threatening to me in my pack. Ruff, ruff. That's the that's the one before that, which means, <laughs> Choppy got my attention there, that means right, we're going to have a scrap or I'm on the edge of having a scrap. Generally a dog will try not to have a fight, just like you and me, they try to avoid that, but that's the next step, and the step after that is burying the teeth and then going for the lunge. So when you're calling your dog and you're rattling off all these commands and losing your rag, you are just totally confusing your dog. Choppy come. Boy. He's not quite there, he smelt something on the way. So he's not being totally obedient. What do I do? I'll give him a bit of time. He's forgotten the command, he's only got like a few seconds and it's already gone out of his brain by now. He doesn't know what he's been told off or if I tell him off. He's gonna flee, he's biting his bum or something. He shouldn't have because he's been defleed. What do I do? I say the command again. Choppy come. Good boy, good dog. He gets lots of praise because he did it right. I don't repeat it three or four times, otherwise the word choppy come becomes a different sentence in itself and that confuses him. Hey choppy, hey, you're an intelligent dog, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, the other thing is when you're training your dog, just one command at a time. Don't stack them up. Don't like choppy come, choppy down, choppy sit, choppy shake hands. It's just that one command for the day. And if the dog isn't doing what you're wanting to do on that day, Take him back inside, and then do it on the training session on another day. Because just like you and me, dogs have good days and they have bad days. Hey Choppy, we're having a, an average day today. We've got a bit of work to do on this fella still. Just smelt it here. Here just ran in the paddock at the back and just smelt it. Just now. High prey drive. Leave it. Leave it. Don't touch the rabbits. Low voice. Just drawing, he's getting closer. Leave it, Choppy. He's not sure now. Leave it. That's this uh, clip anyway for this uh, particular 
canine mates video. In the next one I'll be talking about dog food and what to feed your dog and what not to feed it. And we'll be looking at my other dog, Bob. And we might bring you along too if you're going to be good. Be good. And if you can't be good, then watch up. Be careful. <laughs> See you later. Come on, Chubby, let's go. Come on. That's why we called all the man's best friend. That's why we called all.